video on the SWR using uh, Roden Schwartz FS3 um, the Nano VNA very bad reflection in there Nano VNA uh, Mini VNA Pro connected to a PC and the Sigliant SSA3021 with the reflection bridge uh, software installed and using the the standard bridge that comes with it what we're going to do is um, measure a couple of aerials and just do a little bit of a, um, a cross comparison um, uh, this is the version with the tracking gen um, I haven't got the uh, FS what is it FSH2 I think I've got my own bridge so I'll use a bridge for that I'll probably use the same bridge for both of these and these don't need a bridge obviously but um, we'll do a comparison we'll have a look and uh, see what the results are uh, we'll do it on a fixed antenna um, be it a web um, or a, an x510 one of the two anyway um, I'll just do a comparison and see what sort of results difference we get Uh, mini VNA, or sorry, uh, Nano VNA. Um, this is on the uh, Diamond X510, and we're set at the two meter calling frequency of 145 megahertz. Point, well, sorry, 145.5 megahertz. Um, I don't know if this is going to focus or not. Um, if not, I've got a slightly larger. I've set three markers. Uh, which I've got on the screen there and marker 1 is at 143.6 and it's a 1 to 1 marker 2 is at 145.5 and it's 1.5 to 1 and marker 3 is at 146900 and it is 1 to 1 um, this again is for the nano VNA network vector analyzer um, I will move on to the um, the mini uh, VNA Pro um, we'll have a look what the difference we get with that is um, and we'll do it then a cross comparison of them all um, let's turn the lights off on that so it makes any difference and gives you any better focus uh, get rid of the red flashing light hope that helps anyway um, right let's move on oh this has all been they will all be calibrated uh, using the same um, open short and load right this is a mini VNA Pro uh, still connected to the Diamond X510 um, use the same dummy loads uh, open load and short to calibrate it um, set the center frequency roughly again at 145 500 um, span 10 meg um, this is the results we get from this. Obviously, this is on the PC now. Um, we're basically showing marker one, um, roughly round about uh, 143. Well, it says 577 there, and an SWR of 1.07 to 1. Uh, marker two is at the calling frequency 145, it's just slightly over 5.06. Um, and it's showing uh, 1.57 to 1 and marker 3 uh, is at 146.863 scale's just a little bit better on this compared to the mini and it's at 1.05 to 1 um, so those work out quite well to be honest Sigliant uh, is a SSA3021 uh, using the reflection table um, using this bridge uh, the reflection bridge and the associated software to run on the um, Sigliant um, results we're getting um, there's a bit of blur on that I don't know if we can read that um, we're showing really um, I've got it on the PC as well so running the easy spectrum software oh, there's a bit of glare on that sorry but uh, let's go back to this um, but on this one on mark one we're showing roughly 143.59 uh, at an SWR 
of 1.6 to 1. Marker 2 is at the calling frequency of 145500 um, and that's showing 1.629 to 1 and marker 3 is at 14695 and that's showing an SWR of a 1 to 1 basically um, so this is using the uh, Siglion SS SSA3021 and uh, running the software uh, yeah, just see if we can get rid of some of the light a little bit more uh, pleasing to the eye to look at uh, let's have a look at that okay and that's the results of that um, right we're now going to move on to the road and Schwartz and see what we get from that This is Rosen Swartz uh, FS3. Um, unfortunately, although I do, I can do uh, reflection bridge measurements with this. It doesn't actually tell me the uh, the results sort of thing. So uh, let me just see if I can turn the, uh, the light a little bit. It's a little bit too much reflection on there. Um, I've got some software for this, but I haven't got around to installing it yet. But uh, basically, I've used the same Siglian bridge. Um, and again this is the Diamond X510 um, uh, calibrated it using the same loads as the others um, and what we get with this is um, we've done the 143 for a uh, peak one 145 500 for uh, uh, the uh, mark 2 and 146 for uh, mark 3 and the graphs are all pretty much the same to be honest but um, problem I've got with this one is um, there are some uh, software available on the net for calculating it or you can just use this uh, return loss versus VSR table so minus 21 uh, close as we can get 0 0.6 is about uh, 1.19 one, yeah, uh, yeah 1.9 to 1 to roughly um, at the calling frequency, uh, 145500, we've got minus 11.19. So on there, we're showing uh, 1.77 to 1. Now, these, these are only um, they're in between values, so they're not actually bang on. And the last one was uh, minus 33. Uh, which we haven't got a 33 we've got a 34 which is basically one to one which is what we've been reading anyway um, I suppose we could actually put that into this calculator uh, let's try that minus 32.9 we'll just say 33 and there you go near enough one to one so so really I mean that's a comparison of uh, some quite expensive pieces of kit uh, compared to um, a mini and a nano VNA which really ain't going to cost you hardly anything if you're only doing um, VWSR stuff that but you know basic for your antennas for your ham radio um, obviously if you're doing anything more you probably want a spectrum analyzer um, I mean this does go up to 3 gig um, the uh, Sigliant is Two, just over two gig I think um, the VNA um, Pro is only uh, 300 meg I think something like that um, and the micro VNA um, I think is up to 900 meg so they're getting better definitely getting better so um, but yeah this was just a quick overview of you know if you've got some uh, if you have, you know fancy investing in some equipment really to be honest I'd spend 34 quid really. <laughs> I'd say the, the only problem with the um, the VNAs is obviously if you go for um, this one um, you need a PC um, or um, I have got it working on my uh, Fire HD Google device um, and the uh, Nano VNA obviously it's got a screen on it but it's very very small and um, I, I, to be honest, I end up having to put my glasses on 
and um, some of these things just to see the screen on it really so I think an improvement they could do that is just double the size of the screen up to something like this really to be honest um, I do I do radio repairs and stuff and that so that's why I've got the spectrum analyzers but um, I have had the MFJ devices and that but I do prefer to have a look um, so like with the uh, the web I don't know if you can see that out there up there I can then sort of like look across the whole band and see where the dips are and things and that um, rather than into it yeah individually tune and turn knobs uh, but yeah I mean you know you get what you pay for really I suppose you know in, in as much as the extra features you get on top of this but is it worth it if you're just testing antennas no I'd stick with the uh, the mini or the micro VNA to be honest um, for the sort of money I mean I think I picked up the uh, micro VNA for about 30 quid I think um, and it does a good job to be honest um, I can't criticize it um, this one I bought on eBay for 100 quid um, and I do like that one because it is PC based but it's limited in its oh, 200 meg that does sorry you're not 400 uh, so it's a little bit limited in its bands if you can buy an extender for it but I'm not going to do that um, and I've got this um, and other bits of test equipment which I use for um, basically testing all my radio gear and stuff and things so I pretty much covered what I need to do I'll probably uh, overkill on spectrum analyzers to be honest but if one comes I mean I got this on eBay for 400 quid I thought it was an absolute bargain to be honest um, they just said uh, powers up untested so I just thought I'll go I'll, I'll take a gamble on that and it's absolutely bang on um, it, it it hasn't got um, some of the advanced software in it um, but um, it does tend to um, do everything I need from it um, because I, I have got a, a choice of a couple uh, but yeah, I hope this helps anyway. Um, so using the uh, the reflection bridge um, on this and the Sigliant, and obviously these got those have got their own built-ins, so, and they just need really calibrating. Um, hope that helps.